Hello everyone and welcome to this lab session. In this session we will look at how you can make use of the bootstraps in EC2 instances. So basically bootstrap is nothing but just simply automating your EC2 machine while launching it at the startup. So what happens is like for example you have a case where you want your EC2 instance to be launched and you are not interested in manually setting up all the things like setting up an Apache server or making it a web server or the necessary installations that are required to make your instance ready to use as an application server or a web server. So for that, before you launch an EC2 instance, there is an option with the help of which you can automate your server. So let's automate your EC2 instance. So let's get started. So the first thing is we will go to the launch instance. We will select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI machine. Next we need to select the instance type. So the instance type is T2 micro. Moving on. We have the option to configure the instance. So inside the instance option over here, you can see you have a user data option available. So here we will be writing our bash script. So let's start the bash script and you know that to start a bash script, you need to write hash and then the location bin slash bash. So as this script will be loaded at the startup of this EC2 instance and there won't be any user intervention at that moment. So you won't be able to actually intervene and give the permissions that are required to install the package. So for that we will log in as a super user. So sudo su. So this becomes the root user. And then we will first of all update all the packages. So yum update and don't forget to write down the minus v to by default allow update to be applied. Then the next thing is we are actually interested in making this machine as a HTTPD server. So for that I will install yum install httpd minus y and then once when it is installed then you need to start the particular service so for that we will write down service httpd start so by this time the service would have been started and as the service will start so you will want some web page to be loaded and displayed when someone access the ip of this ec2 instance so for that i will go ahead and write down a command to create a index.html so i will just copy it paste it over here so this echo command will actually create an HTML file and that is inside the var www location. So this directory is by default created when you start the HTTPD service of this Apache. So once that is created, it will load this index.html file and save it in there. So we will write down welcome to skill curve and this server is created with bootstrap. So this will be displayed once when the instance is launched and whenever a user tries to access it with the help of the public IP for this EC2 instance. So next we will go ahead and add storage. So we will go with the default storage option. Then you have the tags. So I will add a tag over here. So the tag will be name and we will be creating it as a bootstrap EC2 demo. Then you need to configure the security group. So this is an important point over here for whatever purpose you are writing down your bash script just make sure you also allow the necessary inbound rules or the outbound rules for that machine so for that as you can see over here right now whatever the security group will be created it only has ssh input inbound rule as of now so we will add a new rule over here and that rule will be http because we are creating a apache server for that purpose and it can be anywhere or any ip right so we have used it as custom or you can go as anywhere as well so the next thing is we will go ahead and review and launch it. So right now you can see all the settings are as desired. Let's launch this and we will use the same key pair that we have previously used for all of the others. Let's launch this instance. All right. So here you can see this is the bootstrap EC2 instance that we just created and it is in the pending state. Let's wait for it so that it is up and running and then we will access it with the public IP and see that if the server was created successfully or not. So the bootstrap server is up and running. Let's select it and see the public IP that we have for this one. And here is the public IP. So let's go to this IP and see what we have. All right. So here you can see the server was successfully initiated and all the settings were done successfully without any errors. And this is why we can see that right after the server is up and running, we can see the web page that we just created in there. So with this, I hope you have got an understanding of how Bootstrap works for EC2 and how you can create your own bash script so that 
whenever a new instance is created it is launched in advance and all the settings are applied 